Hello everybody. It's that time of day again. It's story time. I've got my frumpy reading sweater on. Let's see. What have we got to drink today? Hmm. Nice glass of cool water. Get yourself settled. I'll go get the book. Okay, let's grab some reading glasses here. Today's story is called Elegant's Pool by Dr. Seuss. Okay, sit back, relax. Let's get started. Young man, laughed the farmer. You're sort of a fool. You'll never catch fish in McElligot's pool. The pool is too small and you might as well know it. When people have junk, here's the place where they throw it. You might catch a boot or you might catch a can. You might catch a bottle. But listen, young man, if you sat 50 years with worms and your wishes, you'd grow a long beard long before you'd catch fishes. Hmm, answered Marco. It may be you're right. I've been here three hours without one single bite. There might be no fish. But again, well, there might. Because you never can tell what goes on down below. This pool might be bigger than you or I know. This might be a pool like I've read in books, connected to one of those underground brooks. An underground river that starts here and flows right under the pasture and then, well, who knows? It might go along down where no one can see, right under the State Highway 203, right under the wagons, right under the toes, under Miss Umbrosso, who's hanging out clothes. It might keep on flowing, perhaps. Who can tell? Right under the people in Sneedon's Hotel right under the grass where they're playing croquet, then under the mountain far, far away. This might be a river. Now mightn't it be connecting McElligot's pool with the sea? Then maybe some fish might be swimming towards me. If such a thing could be, they certainly would be. Some very smart fish my point out the way to the place where I'm fishing. And that's why I say, if I wait long enough, if I'm patient and cool, who knows what I'll catch in McGilligot's pool. I might catch a thin fish. I might catch a stout fish. I might catch a short or a long, long drawn out fish. Any kind, any shape, any color or size. I might catch some fish that would open your eyes. I won't be surprised if a dogfish appears, complete with a collar and long floppy ears, woofing along, and perhaps he might chase a whole lot of catfish right straight to this place. I might catch a fish with a pinwheel-like tail. I might catch a fish who has fins like a sail. I might catch some fish some high jumping friskers. I might catch an old one with long flowing whiskers. I might catch a fish with a long curly nose. I might catch a fish like a rooster that crows. I might catch a fish with a checkerboard belly or even a fish made of strawberry jelly. I might catch a seahorse. Now mightn't I now? I might catch a fish who is partly a cow. Some fish from the tropics, all sunburnt and hot, might decide to swim up. Well, they might. Might they not? Racing up north for a chance to get cool, full steam ahead for McGalkiot's pool. Some Eskimo fish from beyond Hudson Bay might decide to swim down might be headed this way. It's a pretty long trip, but they might, 
and they may. I might catch an eel. Well, I might, it depends. A long twisting eel with a lot of strange bends and oddly enough, with a head on both ends. Wasn't, one doesn't catch this kind of fish as a rule, but the chances are fine in McElligot's pool. I might catch a fish with a terrible grouch or an Australian fish with a kangaroo pouch. Who wants to catch small ones like mackerel or trout? Say, I'll catch a sawfish with such a long stout that he needs an assistant to help him about. If I wait long enough, if I'm patient and cool, who knows what I'll catch in McKelligot's pool. Some roughneck old lobster, all grizzle and muscle, might grab at my bait, then I would have a tussle. To land one so tough, it might take two or three hours, but the next might be easy. The kind that likes flowers. I might catch some sort of fast moving bloke who swims through the waves with an overarm stroke. I might and I may. And that's really no joke. A fish even faster, a fish if you please, who slides down the sides of strange islands on skis. He might ski on over and pay me a visit. That's not impossible. Really, now, is it? Some circus fish, fish from an acrobat school, might stage a big show in McElligot's pool. Or I might catch a fish from a stranger place yet, from the world's highest river in far off Tibet, where the falls are so steep that it's dangerous to ride them. So the fish put up shoots and they float down beside them. From the world's deepest oceans, from way down below, from down in the mud where the deep divers go, from down in the mire and the muck and the murk, I might catch a fish. We're all going, glurk. Whales, I'll catch whales. Yes, a whole herd of whales, all spouting their spouts, all thrashing their tails. I'll catch 50 whales, then I'll stop for the day. Cause there's nothing that's bigger than whales, so they say. Still, of course, it might be, there's something bigger, some sort of kind of a thingamajigger, a fish that's so big, if you know what I mean, that he might make a whale look like a tiny sardine. Oh, the sea is so full of a number of fish. If a fellow is patient, he might get his wish. And that's what I think, that I'm not such a fool. When I sit here and fish, emit elegant pool. The end. <laughs> wow. Just think of the things that might come out of McElligot's pool. Well, that's the end of the story. You have yourself a great day. You take care of each other. Take care of yourself. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.